Now I'm here. Right? So we have a lot of finishes from here. You know, we could even come up. Right? But he's pretty strong. So what I need to do is get out from underneath him. So I need to put this base here and start moving. But a lot of times, he's going to whiz me, right? We guys, we did this. So I might get here. Have any of you ever been here? Well, I can't get around because he has a whizzer on me. You guys can't see? Come and see. Right? Right? What I just showed you was this, but I can't get out now. I'm stuck. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my left hand, I'm going to put it on his knee. My right hand is going to slide down to where his laces are. I'm going to put my shoulder right in his quad. And I'm going to pull. I'm going to pull this and this. And what does that do to his hips? It locks his hips out and he can't move. Right? So when I'm here, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to pull. And as I pull, now I'm running on my knees. Have we ever done that? Yes. Now I'm here. What do I have? I have lace ankles now. Okay? So when I shoot in and it sprawls, now I'm here. Right? I'll go here. And I'm going to scoop my shoulder down so it's right here. And I'm going to be directly square to him here. Now I'm going to pull this to lock his hip. And as I do that, I'm going to run on my knees. Here. Now I'm going to go here. Okay? So am I going all the way around? I'm grabbing his knee, I'm grabbing his laces, and I'm wishbone his legs. Here, I'm locking his hip out. So in this position here, I'm still coming around. I can't get here, I get stuck here. Now I'm gonna go here. Go wide, not narrow, wide. Pull here, and drive in. Drive, drive, drive. Any questions? How far out can you pull that uh, ankle? When you start that, moving, you the ref won't see it. It's it's more the pressure yeah. than it is pulling the, the ankle like any amount of distance. Okay. What it does is it stops me from being able to circle with him. Yeah. You can't move his hips. I can't. Uh, so you don't you don't actually much. need to move it too much. You no, just, you no, get, it's you more just have pressure. to lock it. You'll feel it once you lock his hip out. You're gonna feel this. It's like a monkey bar. You, and you can't move. Okay. Once he's there. Now I'm driving the pressure and he can't circle me. If I don't pull that, watch what happens. If I get hit, look it. He's I, moving. I can circle with him. What if I go here? Circle with me. He can't circle. Right? If I just go here, circle. Now I'm in trouble. If I get here, this. But if I go here, he can still move. Right? Now I'm here. So I need to go one, two. Here. Now I'm freezing his hip. And all I'm doing is I'm not yanking it out trying to tear his knee. Okay. I'm locking it and I'm walking on my knees. Just to add to that. Yep. Just to add to that. Thank you. When you try to square up, it actually makes it tighter. Oh, for sure. Because yes. you can't square up. In the World Championships, the Russian did this exact move, the exact move to me. He used my knee as his own personal flag. Yeah. Yeah. We want my knee. Two minutes into the match. So. With our partner, once again, we're not going to reef on it. We're going to put pressure on it. And we're going to run on our knees. We're going to walk nice and easy. And you're going to feel it go, oh. And then you're going to go here. And we're going to cross them up. Okay? Yes, press them. Do you think that you can see that one more time? Absolutely. So I'm here. Right? I start coming around here. Now I get here. Lock it out. Do you know what? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do transition. Everything is chain wrestling. I would never say that you can't do a turn on the ball. If you can do it in the same amount of time as the person next to you who's doing it. The one like thing I see a lot of coaches do is it's a great question. So we stand up and we drill. How many points did I get? Zero. Zero. Hey, you wrestle how you practice. Because it becomes ingrained. Right? We start getting used to a certain habit. Right? Same thing. 
Sean Day and I are drilling. Okay. I do a high crotch on him. And I take him down. And we both get up and go to the center like this. And we walk around. That one's pretty good. What did that do? It ingrained a bad habit. Practice makes permanent. Not perfect, it makes permanent. If we practice bad habits, we will do bad habits. So when you're drilling, I take Sean Day down. What do you do when you get back to center? Now we're here. Good habits. Okay, so that was a great question. Take down to a turn. If we practice that, guess what happens? When you get in a match, and it's over. And the guy goes, what happened? He goes, oh, that's what happened. <laughs> right? You guys almost go to an autopilot when it happens. Start training like that, just goes into autopilot. We need to change how we've been training. We change that and we'll change the results. Ready, ready? 